Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of yesterday's video, obviously the tourist excursion uh, scenario here on the Rosa line. Obviously in the last one we did end up at Langwise and we're up here at Langwise again. And I've noticed we actually do have to go onto the viaduct, the stop at location viaduct, which is going to be interesting. So let's get the doors shut. Boom. I've said the train light's not on. You not put them on. People are going to be in the dark. No, they are on. That was weird, it's like they just turned off when we uh, left it, okay. Um, let's get that off, and let's get going. So we're going on to the viaduct, which is going to be cool. Let's get that out. Doesn't really get in the snow though, I must, I must admit. I really do like it, just the way the track and just everything about it in the snow. It does look good. Right, I guess we're stopping in the middle. Yeah, if it was a tourist who didn't like heights, um, yeah. <laughs> That's very cool because we actually have to jump out and walk along the side, obviously once we, um, uh, when we have to change ends. So I guess we're stopping literally in the middle. This is pretty cool. Well, in fact, this is really cool doing this. Stopping on the viaduct. So obviously, usually you just go straight over and head, head up to uh, obviously Litsuruti. Anyway, hopefully everyone is is having a um, good day. Still up the train. Oh, that's not the right, right break. Yeah, hopefully everyone is having a good day. Obviously, if you're enjoying the video, do so. Um, so far, do leave a thumbs up. It all does. Um, all does help out. Anyway, let's turn the control wheel to off. Uh, we'll get that off. Are we not? Off. There. Set the master key to off. Uh, walk to the other, say, walk to the other locomotive. Probably want to get that into full service. Pop that into full service. Or do we want to turn that off? I don't think it makes a difference really, does it? Oh well. Right, let's change ends. Uh, we get that to off and tail lights. I'm guessing that'll be on. Oh god, look at this. We don't want to go off now. Wow. This is cool. Why is it saying. Why does it want us to do that? Does it want us to go on this side? I don't know. Walk. There you go. I really didn't want to be going off of here. Look at this though. I mean, this is beautiful. Alright, let's pop in. Uh, I'll get this out quick. So that's the tourists with their photos now. They better be happy with that. So, train lights on, get the fan on as well, look at that, that's a little bit annoying, let's get that off, look at this, this is pretty cool, look okay, here, on the actual viaduct stopped, anyway we need to get going, so heading into Langwees again now, I should have all of, that, all of the photos now, in fact, let's make them getting photos a bit easier. There you go, have some of that. Like, proper get good photos now. There you go, get them shut. They're really close. There you go. Set that up. Up to 30 along here. Oh, off we go again. And we've got the red light. I'm guessing we should be coming into the other platform now. That's been our a down train. And I've already got the wipers on as well. Uh, wipers. 
There we go. Start bringing it to a stop. The brakes are pretty good on this, at times. Here we are, doors open. Now we wait. I'm guessing we might be waiting for another service. I mean, in fact, we are probably waiting here for a little while. So what I'll do, I'll see you all in a second. Right, so we're now ready to leave. Um, let's get that off. Uh, let's get that off, and then let's get going. Right, we're off. So the next station is, well, the next station is Curse Stats. So we're going quite a, quite a distance um, over there. And we've got to put the dynamic brake on as we are going to be going downhill. Let's get up again. Right, let's get that brake on as we are going downhill and we're running away with the speed. There. Two point five kilometres to paste. Oh go. We're on a flat, let's get the brake so just a tab. Um, chilling out on the service, obviously going back down the mountain. Obviously in the last episode we went up the mountain. brake on as well. Usually using the dynamic brakes is enough to stop, but it seems not. There you go, that should be okay. Oh, now on a flat. kilometers we are slowly getting there it's on these flats though it kind of tricks you because you've got the brakes on max coming down all of a sudden it's because flat and you lose so much speed so you sort of need to know the places where the flats are i still haven't really remembered yet we're still on a flat now in a minute the gradient's probably going to change Look at this coming over here. I just love these little sort of bridges which you find on the arrows line just around the court, especially in the snow as well, they're brilliant.
Um. Up to 30 again. This seems like we're going back down the hill. Right now, approaching pace. Yeah, not too much commentary on this run, as um, as I said, multiple times, just nice and relaxed. Let's get that down. And obviously, if you didn't see part one, do um, check the playlist. That should be uh, obviously probably below this video. You'll find it. I start to go back downhill now. Went around to thirty. Red light as well, so we really do need to um, set up the brakes on. I guess we'll probably be waiting for another service, or maybe once we hit the objective, it will then change. Oh, there's another service in there. Uh, hopefully that will clear. That should clear as soon as we hit the objective, which is coming up now. Yeah, that's cleared. Well, that still says it's no. It's good. It's good. Right, pull that back up to 30. You've got to wait for it to kick in. Oh god, now I get the brakes on. Losing control again. It's so easy to lose control on here. Going out to 30 soon.
9.7 kilometers to Kerstat, which is also around about 12.55, so it's around 20 minutes. We're now coming up to St. Peter Melinis now. Got the ZS going off as well, so I believe the ZS does go off when you can't see the next signal. So it was on a corner there, so we can actually see it. So this just flashes up saying what the next signal is. Soon as well. kilometers now so slowly making our way down the mountain the next sort of, I think the next pass in the place we'll be going through is Luen Castiel I believe which is about yeah 2.7 kilometers a little way Right, we need to bring that down quick. There you go, that should be alright. So look how steep it is coming down in, especially with the snow. again shortly. Going through one of the longer tunnels on the road. It's a bit harder coming down, obviously when we were going uphill we could literally just stick it into say 33 and it would just stay at 33 the whole way. Obviously when you're going downhill it does pick up speed a fair bit, even with max brakes on. So you probably need to be vigilant coming down the hill.
though. Again, we're coming out to 30 soon as well. another tunnel. So yeah, there's um, 41 bridges on this route and 19 tunnels. Although it feels like there's much more tunnels than 19. And I don't really know what class is as a tunnel, so there's quite a few sort of mini tunnels. I don't know if they just count as sort of bridges, I'm not really too sure. There's quite a bit going on there. Uh, so we're coming up to the Wen Castiel now. Looks like we're going to be clear straight through this as well, which is all good. There's the warning sort of board there, and it actually comes into force um, at this little uh, sort of diagonal uh, square there. Okay, um, not really too sure what's happened there. That's a bit odd. Um, yeah, no clue what's happened there. What I'll do is I'll see you all in a little bit. I'll try and get to that spot again. That's some sort of glitch. Yeah, I'll see you all uh, in a second. I'll probably literally speed my way down the mountain um, so I can get back to that place. Yeah, I don't know what's happened there. That's some sort of bug. Probably to the dynamic brakes, which is really unfortunate. So yeah, I'll see you all in a second. Get back to here after around 20 odd minutes. Um, let's get that off and let's get going. So I think the problem was the dynamic brakes. There is actually a problem at the moment where sort of when you put the dynamic brakes on, sometimes it will sort of glitch you and it will sort of rock really violently forward and back. And that's sort of what happened and then we derailed. So at some point, hopefully that will be sorted. But for now, um, yeah. And then off we go again, we've got 9.6 kilometres to curse down, we've got around 20 odd minutes. It should be around 25 minutes until the scenario is complete. Back down the gradient, so that was uh, St. Peter Melinus, so that'll be Luen Castillo next. It's the next main sort of station. Get the brakes on, we've got to be careful though. There you go. That'll be okay for now. Look at that down there though, that is proper just... Wow. And it seems like every time you do load back in, the light does turn off. So what we need to do... What was even on in the first place? Maybe it turn itself off, put it on. Lovely. Yeah, a bit of break on there. There you go. It's all good. Go down to thirty soon. Oh 
go in, so we already put the brakes on, didn't notice was that okay, we've got enough time. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Oh back up to I think 33 now so you can see the train is trying to keep us at a relatively well it's trying to keep us at what we put it on at 33 into another tunnel Get gradient down here that's mad Still coming down there. Have a tunnel. It's about a kilometre now to the Wen Castillo, and then we've got Intersacks, and then obviously cursed out after that. But we've still got around 15 minutes until we're due in there. To, this is the entry signal into the Wen Castillo now. And we slowly sort of make our way down to um, well basically street level uh, after the station. Now we've got the flashing green obviously as it's on a corner so we can't see it so the ZS is now active. Comes down to 30 soon. It's quite cool, isn't it? You get the warning board there, and it doesn't actually come into force until that little sort of um, square with the diagonal lines over it. It's quite cool, so you should always be able to know the speed limits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it because I don't want to derail now. Oh, as soon as I say that as well, as soon as I say it. Uh, that's some sort of glitch. I'll see you all in a second. I took off the dynamic brakes. So that means we're sort of going a bit faster than we should. But I mean, it keeps us from derailing on that bit. Now we're putting them back on as we're on a straight. So this is the glitch at the moment. I mean, hopefully it will be sorted soon enough. So it's pretty annoying.
This is the little sort of worker station. There's a little crane there, which I don't really know what the purpose of that is. I mean, is it something they produce here then? I don't know, it gets loaded on. I don't know. Around here and then into another little tunnel. Start, well, quite low to the well, not not completely down yet, but we are almost at the bottom of the valley now. But let's get in there. again. Cut into sacks. Oh, we got red light as well. Looks like we will be back for another service. I'll probably save it again in a second, just in case. There Wonder how long till the train will get, probably not too long. Any second out, we'll just come around that corner. I'll be wait. I'll see you all in a second when the train actually does arrive. Wait for another train to come up. We're waiting for the service to actually go down the hill. Uh, you can see we're actually with that. Uh, let's probably actually get going quick. If we look at the map, we can see uh, the train is here. So it was actually um, yeah going the other way. First, I cleared the way, and we can go through. So 
let's get going. Three point nine kilometers now. Well, it seems like the gradient is slowly, oh, okay, I guess it's slowly easing up, obviously not. So what we do, we have to slam the brakes on again. One kilometer, so we should be rather in five minutes, which hmm, we might be able to rather in five minutes. A nice chilled out journey. And if you're watching this far into the video, put her, so you can put it in the comments up there, we can see it in the top left. Put that in the comments section, that'd be lovely. Almost at the bottom of the valley now, we're still going down at 1 in 17. Four kilometers, one kilometer comes down to thirty. Not down. 
Oh, oh not the whistle. And brakes back on. As soon as I take them off as well, it's just like now. Nah. 2.2. This is sort of the last set of um, tunnels now, and we should be able to see the road on our left coming up. Um, there it is, there. you can see the road there. So we'll be joining up to that shortly. The last kilometre or so to the station. Almost there now. Been a good scenario though, I've uh, rather enjoyed this one. Well that is 90 minutes. Jim, what is the longest scenario? This one's got to be up there, 90 minutes. I think it's one on Collinsfield, which is around 120. Which will be um, interesting. Coming down to 30, yeah, when we come onto the street, they're yeah, almost there now. What I do is I'm going to save it as well, to be on the safe side. doesn't work in that bit there. No, oh, that's back on. So, anyway, the brakes we don't really need on as much now. Let's start taking them off. Oh no, it's going back uh, backwards and forth again. We might have a derail upcoming. But it keeps that you can see it sort of shaking backwards and forth. But you can see it in the cab more. Yeah, we'll have to be careful. Not too far to first that. Twenty-five. And twenty next. Where's right? the sort of curve passing loop? get the brakes off them now. So now put them on to 30, oh no 25. That should keep us at a nice steady pace. But you can see the gradient is slowly easing out now. First that's coming up. That car's passing by. So a couple minutes it late into curb, but that's not too bad. I don't want to bring that down. And 
and stop, 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 stop. Brakes are actually pretty decent, I know that wasn't down. And I'll see you all when we're about to leave Cursed App. We'll be here a little while. Let's get them shut, break off. And we've still got a red, so I'm guessing we're probably waiting for, um, yeah, probably waiting for that, but that's sort of blocking the way a little bit. Although, I think if we get going, maybe if we get a bit closer, it might, it might clear. Anyway, yeah, let's move forward. We don't have to be sitting there. It would be a bit annoying if this was a red light glitch. I mean, that would be very annoying after 90 odd minutes of work. Let's get going. And hopefully that train will move out of the way. So it's sort of, yeah, blocking the way at the moment, which um, isn't great. Well, maybe the... No, I think the red light is at the end. No, the red light's at the end of the platform. I, oh my god. Oh, 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 same pickup. Oh my god, they're all going. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. That happened. Yeah, I think the red light's at the end of the platform, so we're all good. Not far. After that, we have to. Oh, that is it. Shit! As soon as we get to curve platform one, we are complete. Well, it's taken a while, but we're uh, finally making it there. There's not really any sound for the brake, though, is there? I just noticed that. There isn't really any. You can't really hear the air sort of coming out, can you? The other service there. I love coming through here. It's awesome. One of my favourite parts of the route down this section. Just on the approach into Kerr. Love to come here in real life. Drop the speed right down. The brakes do release pretty quick. Here we are. We did it. We made it. Finally. Took a while. And now we have, probably have to wait a couple of minutes for that to go around. I'll see you all again in a second. But actually, now in fact, we will end up, and I'll just do the debriefing bit at the end so you guys can see it. But that is going to be it, everyone, for today's video. Obviously, this is part two of um, well, the uh, tourist excursion scenario. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously, you will find a link in the description for the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. On screen now you will see all of our merch, do go and check it out, also the credential drawer on top is still there, um, basically it will be two weeks after it comes out then it will go out, so that is limited edition, obviously you've got the F7 mark as well. Uh, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it, I'll put up the sort of debriefing screen at the end so you guys can see it, but that is it, thanks all for coming in and hopefully we'll see you in the next one, do subscribe if you do want to see more, see you all, take care.